I'll be taking you through the process of connecting your NAMI wallet to Daedalus on your Mac. So specifically for Mac users, I've done a tutorial on how to do it on Windows. There's pastebin documentation on how to do it in general, but it doesn't quite work. Let me take you through the gotchas and show you exactly how to get it working. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get hey everyone, I'm Peter Bury, and I'll be going through this entire process. And this is really cool. If you're waiting for long transaction times at the moment, and you really want to get those transactions in, if you're just interacting with a JPEG store, Genesis House, Carter Hub, see nft.io just to buy NFTs, but it's taking absolute forever to execute those smart contracts. This will help speed it up a little bit because it bypasses some of those queues that are there that are clogging up some of these transactions. So NAMI Wallet, for example, uses Blockfrost as its API. They've scaled a huge amount, but there are still some delays every once in a while. So we'll need to use some ways to get around it, try and decrease that load on NAMI itself. And of course, we can then get our transactions through. Now I do have all the documentation on how to do it on Windows here. And there is a little bit of extra documentation further down here that will take you through, there it is, the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it on a Linux machine, which is very similar to how to do it on a Mac, but they are different and you, you do need to be aware of that. So let's talk about something else first real quick. And if you are a node operator, if you know how to set up a relay and you've done this before, or if you're a staple operator and you actually want to get this done as well, the Guild Tools Operator Guide has the ability to actually set your relay up with the Submit API. So if you're running a relay or if you are interested in running a relay, you can follow this documentation, go through all the steps there and set up your node as your own private submit API uh, access so that you can fire and trigger your, um, your transactions via NAMI directly to a relay that's in the cloud or running on a Raspberry Pi or an Intel Nook, whatever it might be, you can run that and have a dedicated node that will always operate so it's not on your laptop clogging up space. You know, some people have small laptops and they just don't have the power to get this running. So you can set that up and then connect your NAMI wallet to it. Links are in the show notes. So let's get this working on a Mac. I'll go through the step-by-step guide here in Pastebin. There are some gotchas. So I'll take you through them so that you're really good and clear and you know exactly what you need to do. So first off, you do need to make sure you have Daedalus running. I don't have a wallet connected to this. I can connect my Ledger Nano to it, but you don't need to. As long as this is up and running in the background and you have it fully synchronized, you're good to go. So let's have a look at the pastebin instructions here uh, and let's run through some of these commands. So I have my terminal open on the right and I'll just copy these commands over and we'll get going. So first off, this is exporting that node socket path. So it's the path of where your Daedalus is running at the moment and that little socket so that you can connect this submit API to it. So let's paste in that command, press enter, great. The next one here is to actually test it to see if it worked. Cool, so I can see that my not socket path is uh, defined there. And I can see it's Daedalus mainnet, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that, that's good. First one's, uh, first one's set. Now I'm currently in the home directory of my uh, Mac here. So I'll just get clear. I'll navigate to documents and I've created a folder already called NAMI submit. So I've already created that. So yep, gives me that error. I'll change directory into NAMI submit. And here you can see I've already downloaded a particular file, but let's go back to the notes here. So this is the make directory, which I've already done. And this is the changing into this particular folder structure here. I've called it NAMI submit. I thought it was a uh, more appropriate. Now this command here isn't quite right. Now this is a, a wget, so wet get for this particular file here, but this particular file is specifically for Linux and not for Mac OS. So Mac OS, especially if you're using one of the new ones, it's built slightly differently because it's using a different architecture. It's using an ARM architecture now. And you will see this particular error if you try and execute it. And I'll post uh, links to that so you can understand a little bit more about why it's not working, but it needs to be built for Mac OS specifically. 
So I'll go back to my original documentation. So here is the GitHub repo for the Cardano node. I'll just open this one up. And if I go down further here in the video that I did, um, I obviously downloaded the Windows executable version, but here is the Mac OS one. So you need to download this one. Now I've already done this already. I have it downloaded to my NAMI submit folder and I can go back to my terminal now and extract that particular file. So I'll run the ls command and you can see it there. Cool. So now I'll go back to my pastebin notes and I'll go tar because it's a tarball zip. So I'll go tar xf and I can press tab and that will auto complete it for me. So it, I can see it here, Cardano node 1.33 mac os tar.gunzip. Enter. And I'll run the ls command. There we go. So that's extracted that all for me into my NAMI submit folder. Great, looking good. So now I need to grab the configuration file. So I can copy this one. This one's uh, neutral. It's uh, it'll work across any of the OSs. That's nice and fast. Now, the final test. Okay, so this is the final command that will execute the Cardano Submit API so that it will work and run locally. So I'm just gonna press clear and paste in the command. Thinking, there we go, that's what we wanna see. So running server on localhost 8090. Cool. So now I can actually use my NAMI wallet uh, and configure it for it. So now I'll go back here. I'll actually just go to the pastebin one. And there is the local host address. So it's localhost so, uh, port 8090 slash API slash submit slash TX for transaction. So I'll go to NAMI now, click on settings, network. And you can see I've already got it set up here but it would look like this. So I'll click on custom node, paste in that URL and click apply. Now it's all ready to go. So now we can test this and actually see the transaction appear on the terminal here. So I've got a little bit of ADA. I should be able to send one ADA to myself. So I'll click on my receiving address, click on send, send one ADA, testing with NAMI Daedalus and send. And away that transaction goes. So I can see it submitted here on the left. And then look here, I've got a timestamp and this response here from my uh, submit API service saying transaction submit post successful submitted transaction, blah, 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 transaction hash there. So that's it. That's all you need to do to actually get this up and running and working. And now I can use my NAMI wallet here locally on my machine, pushing transactions through my Daedalus node on my Mac and then submitting it to the blockchain. Now this has submitted it to via the node, but the node is still submitting that to the blockchain. So at the moment of doing this, uh, it still will take a little while and it will probably take another 10, 15 minutes for this to actually happen. Uh, but um, you know, trust me, it does work. It will go through, but it's a lot better than waiting an hour, two hours, especially if you're trying to get into a particular NFT drop or something like that, or you just want to get those uh, sales and orders done on your uh, NFT purchases, whatever it might be. Or of course, if you're tra doing transactions on Sunday swap, Muesli swap, uh, whatever it might be. So wherever you are participating in the Cardano ecosystem, this will help speed up some transactions for you and get you through the network just that little bit faster than what you've been experiencing. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if you do like this type of content, please make sure you give me that thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell, and you hear more great Cardano content from me soon. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.